introduce first. He is Eric Enders. There you go. Missed the shot a little bit, but Gelman got it at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It All right, his opponent. He is the exotic one, Daniel Exotic. There you go. Big opportunity for Daniel Exotic. Uh, Eric Ender is uh, slow out the gate. Lost his first two matches. Was able to pick up a single point against uh, uh, Neighbor John. Yeah. So uh, at least he wasn't shut out. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Not a lot of success to this point for this super friendly Eric Enders. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a different fellow. He's different, man. He is different. He's, uh, I don't know. I know you said about it before. There's something not quite right. Um, I don't know. We'll see if, uh, you know, he's been super friendly to this point. Let's see what he's got. Daniel Exotic, of course, really known for that speed, um, that uh, conditioning. I mean, this kid has a motor on him that does not stop. There's no doubt about that. And uh, let's see if that serves him well tonight to get him to where he wants to be. Uh, having a shot, do you imagine? He's still in the running here. That's what I was just going to say, Kata. Eric Enders, uh, despite where he's come from and what he's done, he has a tough task trying to out-wrestle Daniel Exotic. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. I know, uh, you know, in a past life, Eric Enders had a lot of accomplishments. Um, but no matter how good you are, you take time off, an extended period of time. It is often one of those cases where it takes a while to knock off that ring rust. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, we'll see at this point. I mean, this is uh, his fifth match overall since returning to the ring. Uh, this is the fourth one on a, on a live show. He had that match with you in Reynoldsville. And uh, I'll be honest, man, he brought it to you a little more than I expected up in Reynoldsville. So maybe that ring rust is starting to knock off. And uh, let's see if his friendly ways sort of uh, can get him over the mountain that is the super conditioned, super fast Exotic one. And to be honest, at this point, Kato, he's whole, he's hanging in there with Daniel Exotic wrestling better than I expected. And the advantage that I would say that Eric Genders has is he's uh, uh that was a little bit dirty, Kato. Yeah, I don't know about that. that that's one. what I'm talking about. I, I, there's just something, something about him. A little bit, yeah. Oh, look at that counter oh, into wow. a Wow, Daniel almost landed on top of his head there. Nice little counter. Got him with a big back elbow did Eric Genders. Um I see that, you know, Dan, we talked about what the advantages that Daniel Exotic has. I think we got to briefly touch on the advantages that uh, Eric Enders has. He's uh, a well-educated man. Um, you know, I don't know how much he wants us to tell, but he has a, you know, a PhD. He, so he's super bright. Uh, he is, uh, he's got some experience on him. I know he has some ring rust, but, uh, and then the size. I mean, he's got a good four or five inches on 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 Daniel and, and, and a weight advantage. Can, can I ask what his doctorate's in? Uh, you could. Okay, okay. But I don't know that I know. Okay, okay. He may have told me and I don't remember because I'm old. And that I concussed. understand. Yeah, I've been hitting the head a lot. Eric Enders, of course, quick advantage here on uh, Daniel Exotic. And, you know, we've seen Daniel in this spot here. And I, I know that, you know, um... We're supposed to do our job as announcers and, and uh, say, oh, is he in trouble? To me, Daniel's not in trouble right now. This is a kid that's been in this situation. He knows how to fight from underneath. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think everybody in his locker room believes in Daniel Exotic and, and his abilities. I'm pretty sure Daniel's been in worse situations than this yeah. and come back. But this is a unique situation. This crevasse that he sort of has right here, I don't know how familiar Daniel is with this and uh, how if he knows how to counter this. I don't know. I'd be shocked if he doesn't, Cato. Um, he has quite a repertoire. You know, I know he spends a lot of time on his uh, his wrestling technique. Absolutely, man. He is a wild man in that ring on top of everything else. You know, he's fast and he's furious. And uh, it's hard to contain sometimes. Yeah. Of course, we still got coming up. We got Jimmy the Hippie taking on uh, the rocker Chris Sands. That's going to be a, a great match coming up. I have a... A bit of a, a, a thing I want to talk to everybody about at the end of the night here as well. So I hope everybody tunes in for that. Um, this is a, 
as we man- as we mentioned in the live chat, this is a it's a first time match. Yeah, yeah. And uh, here's my question, Kato: What does Eric Anders get out of a win in this match? He's playing spoiler. You know, there is something to that. You know, in in the NFL, we often see teams want to play the spoiler. You know, we, even though we're not making the playoffs, um, you know, we can knock you out of the playoffs as well. That that's a win for us. Yeah, yeah. And on top of everything else, you know, if Eric Enders were to somehow pull off this upset and pick up a win, um, do you, does it help his career as far as maybe getting a future shot at the Imagine Life title? Maybe. I mean, it, it, it nice. Is, uh, one of our, our, you know, more illustrious champions on the Imagine Life Championship. Absolutely. He's been there. He climbed the mountain quite a few times. Uh, he's a tough kid. Knows how to win my- matches and knows how to win titles. Yeah. And early on, he ha- he has to be one of the heavy favorites in this whole tournament. Oh, I, absolutely. I mean, he's still... He's still, he's, favored to, he's still favored to win this tournament. We have two matches left in this tournament, and he's still in the in the whole thing. Yeah. So... I uh, at this point I'd almost be surprised to not see that runoff with him and Gorgeous Gregory next week. Yeah, I agree. And I think that makes for great wrestling. I agree, man. I agree. Daniel has had it in for Gorgeous Gregory for a long time. He hates that guy. Wow, Whoa. what a clothesline. Man, he got all of that line, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that clothesline there is sort of indicative of what we've seen, uh, the gradual knocking off of the rust by Eric Enders. He's improved quite a bit in the last five, six weeks since he uh, returned to in-ring action here. Well, maybe I had something to do with that. I know I clotheslined the hell out of him yeah. in Reynoldsville. You definitely knocked something off of him, that's for sure, man. So maybe I reminded him what a clothesline's supposed to feel like. There you go. Again, we're, we're 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 getting some chokes in right here. Yeah, I mean. Oh, out of the way, just in the nick of time. Why do I have a feeling his PhD is in psychology or something like that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure. Maybe we can ask him next week. Tell you what, though, this is turning into quite a little fight here, man. More than I probably would have expected. Daniel Exotic, though, here's what we talked about earlier. This kid finds a way to build some momentum, and now he's got things rocking in his direction. Back-to-back elbows, drops Eric Enders, ducks the line, catches the waist lock. Got him! And here we go. This is where Daniel wins. Does he really need to be here? Come on, man. Why is this guy here? Where's Lance Payne to get control of this situation? Oh my God! He kicked him in the balls. Can you say balls? I I did. I was not expecting that. My apologies. I would, did not mean to say. It. I just did not expect that. What kind of man is Eric Enders? I told you there's something not quite right. What with kind that of man dude. is Eric Enders to take that shortcut? 